Hi Leo. Welcome to your love reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading guys. This may or may not resonate with every Leo watching this video. Some of the energies of the card here can be flipped. So feel free to switch those energies throughout the spread. Um, so, so I'm going to do your feelings and the person you're dealing with. Okay, so just switch the sides, whatever resonates with you. And time is fluid. You could have dealt with this energy, are dealing with, or will be dealing with in the near future. Okay. If you don't need a person reading, that information is going to be down below. No feelings? What are Leo's feelings? All right. Moving forward. Moving on. Five of Cups in reverse. Getting clarity about a situation. Probably there was a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty around a situation. Okay. Uh, a lot of unknown energy. Not having a clue about what's happening. Could have been communication issues. There could have been a lack of communication between you guys. No communication, no contact, whatever, right? But I think you finally, with the moon in reverse here, there has been some clarity. Some truth has come out, okay? There has been some truth that's come up at the surface. And I think you're no longer crying over spilt milk, okay? You're choosing to move forward. You're choosing to invest your energy into the present. You're no more crying over spilt milk. Give me Leo's feelings. The Empress. You know why? Because you see yourself as um, you realize your importance. You see yourself as very self-reliant. Someone very, very badass. Someone who's amazing in every aspect of their lives. But yeah, this is you, you with the Empress here. I'm getting the Empress usually... Uh, Get, becomes an empress after taking a lot of shit okay she goes through a lot of shit and that's when she realizes that you know she should have kept her borders you know she should have kept her boundaries and uh, she should have known how to tell the other person how to teach the other person to treat her better okay and that's what you're doing with the empress here okay this is abundance you are being very abundant this is you telling yourself i'm okay on my own i'm enough that's what i'm hearing okay that's what you're telling yourself and you're moving forward you're getting out of that stagnation mode, okay? There could have been a situation where you could have felt a lot of discontentment within the situation or this person was just not giving you what you wanted. They were probably constantly emotionally breadcrumbing you. You know, I'm getting a lot of breadcrumbing throughout the situation, okay? And that was something that was just not satisfying you, okay? A lot of dissatisfaction, discontentment around the situation, boredom, okay? And you could have felt rejected by this person. But yeah, you're no longer wanting to... The car just flew off. You're no longer wanting to stick in that situation because you probably feel if you're going to be there for a very long time, you're missing out on other opportunities. Or in general, you just want to like snap out of that, okay? And that's what you're doing. Just one second. The high priestess did want to fall out. I'm not going to take it. But yeah, you could have been... You've like literally trusted your intuition or you are trusting your intuition, okay? And your intuition is asking you to focus on yourself, okay? Like you do you. That's what it's asking you to do. Give me your workers' feelings for this person. Seven of Wands. I feel you're blocking this person. Seven of Wands. I don't think that you're, this is you fighting for something, but I'm getting blocking. I don't, I think you want to keep yourself away from this person that you're dealing with, whose energies we're going to see. My hair is so fucked up today. Just give me one second, okay? Back. So, yeah, with the Seven of Wands, I feel you're blocking yourself from this person, okay? You could have been stuck with this person for a very long time. This person could have kept you stuck for a very long time, okay? Or you were just dealing with someone who was not being able to see things from your point of view, okay? They were very stuck on their view, someone very hard to budge. But I'm definitely getting that you could have been waiting for this person. This person could have kept you on hold or it was just you who was trying to, you know, wait for this person to take action towards you and the person probably didn't. And now you're ready to let this person go. And I don't think this, more than letting this person go, I'm getting you're not ready to let this person into your life because you realize your worth, you realize your value. You know that you deserve much more than what this person gave you. <clears throat> Give me more feelings. Give me more feelings. What does Leo feel for this person? <clears throat> what does Leo feel for this person? Give me more feelings for Leo. Two of Cups in reverse here. 
see you're not looking eye to eye there could have been a lot of love there is probably a lot of love between you guys okay but you guys are just not on the same page right now you guys are not seeing eye to eye this is almost a situation where you know you're restless it's leading you to a point of exhaustion burnout etc okay but yeah you guys are just not on the same page right now okay this is again a breakup separation but again i'm getting you guys just were not being able to uh again i feel there could have been a lack of commitment okay there could have been commitment issues between you guys maybe you wanted to get married or maybe you just wanted something more stable committed i mean look because the love is there right the love is there but sometimes what happens is that what happens is that the love is there right but when it comes to actually literally bringing that relationship into the 3d world or bringing a relationship into fruition which is more like the pentacles right the king and queen of pentacles ten of pentacles more like something tangible right that's when the relationship starts backing out or at least one person who's not interested in taking things into something further or even i'm getting maybe this one person was just not ready to do it that's one of the reasons why this could have caused a lot of separation between you guys what are leo's feelings i mean but you definitely don't see eye to eye with this person okay again could have been that maybe you're holding a grudge against this person but you're hurt you're hurt and you're not you seven of wands you're under no circumstances wanting this person to come you're not long you're no longer wanting to get this let this person in your life maybe they're trying i haven't seen their feelings yet maybe they're trying but you've blocked them out Three of Wands in reverse here because you're turning your back towards this person. Like I said, right? You could have been manifesting this person for a very long time. Again, waiting and waiting and waiting for your ships to come in. You could have given this person chances over chances over chances, and probably this person kept you in a loop. Even if they didn't keep you in a loop, maybe you just felt like maybe this person one day is going to realize what this relationship means to them, and they're just going to come towards you. But I guess you were fed up and sick and fed up of waiting. okay and you gave up you're turning your back towards the situation and this person because you just feel like you know what fuck it it's just never happening and i'm just going to stick by what i think is right although this person you saw this person is your soulmate okay you saw this as a very strong soulmate connection we have the two of cups we have the six of cups definitely a very strong soul tie connection okay but yeah you're fed up of waiting you just feel things are just not going to move forward ever and this person is just keeping you waiting keeping you on hold okay there could have been a huge period of inaction okay where nothing was happening it was just no movement at all and that could have kept you in a lot of uncertainty like okay like what the fuck is going on i have no clue where this is leading to okay i mean i have a right to know we're in this together right are we moving forward are we not are we over and done with what i mean and this person could have just kept the clarity away from you okay or probably this person was refusing to give you the clarity we'll see give me the feelings of the person that leo is dealing with give me the feelings of the person that leo is dealing with in love what is this person's feelings that leo is dealing with in love five of wow <laughs> you're both a five of cups in reverse okay But let's see what their five of cups is. Your five of cups in reverse looks like you're moving on. You're moving forward. We'll see. See, their five of cups is the sun. They want happiness. They want clarity. They have hope. They have hope, faith that things will be okay. Six of wands. They want to move forward with you. This is a very determined energy of wanting something very successful with you. Of wanting to move things forward. Of wanting to take things to the next level. Okay. Uh, tell me more about what this person feels for Leo. Give me this person's feelings for Leo, please. Too many cards, okay. <coughs> Too many cards. Ace of Cups. I did like. I I would definitely want to take it, but I want one card, okay. Two of Swords in reverse. Yeah. See, this is what I like. This is what this person is. Again, this I I shuffled so many times. The sun is still here. Okay, they have clarity. This is a lot of clarity. They were refusing to see the reality earlier, and probably they were avoiding a situation. They were avoiding things to come in to um get get clarity. It's almost like a situation where they knew they had to make a decision. It was almost like a make or break decision. Okay, like a make or break situation. Both the choices that they had were a little tough to choose. 
almost like none of the choices were pleasing to them okay either they commit to you either they move forward with you which probably they could have been someone non-committal or then they completely let you go and move on which was again not something that they wanted to do again they could have again because of that two of swords energy you could have felt very stuck and stagnant with this person okay indecisiveness indecision someone who refuses to see the reality for what it is or this they just don't have enough information to make a decision but i don't think this person didn't have information i feel this person purposely kept things on hold stalemate energy they were blocking their heart chakra could be dealing with someone who probably had a bad past and now they're completely cold detached and they didn't want to involve themselves into something serious okay seven of pentacles in reverse but i feel that they see you as someone who's giving up they want to work on this connection with the eight of pentacles but they see you as someone with a seven of pentacles in reverse here who's given up on them if there's a card that wants to pop out that looks like the sick yeah see six of pentacles eight of pentacles this person wants an equal give and take they want this this is no longer want, uh, going to be a one-sided situation they want to put in the work the effort the commitment their energy they want to invest into this emotions everything should be balanced they want to restore balance in this situation they realize that things were not fair before they're ready to work on this for sure they're ready to work on this, okay? They're ready to give you everything that you deserve. But with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse here, yeah, they see you as someone who's given up on them, okay? Or it could also mean that they feel that, you know what, things are just not going to come into fruition because with the Seven of Wands here, yeah, they're catching on the vibes that you've probably blocked them and you don't want them. That's the only reason I'm getting the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Why they see this as a disappointment or why they see this as a relationship which is just not being able to come into fruition. Maybe because like I said before, right, this person's trying to communicate with you energetically or they're trying to reach out to you, but you've completely blocked their ass. The tower in reverse here. They want to avoid a disaster or they want to clean up the mess. They want to clean up the mess. They they want to rebuild with you. They want to make a strong structure with you. You could have let the tower fall, okay, with this person. You could have broke up, separation. There could have been a shake up, break up, okay, or whatever, right? But you just, probably this person wasn't expecting you to let this relationship go or they weren't expecting you to let them go. That's why with the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles, right, in reverse, that's why they weren't expecting this, okay? They probably thought you would still put in the effort or there were still chances of making things work out. I don't think this person was expecting you to completely block them out even after something like this because there is love here there is love here okay you just, just guys are just not on the same page not seeing eye to eye right now conflicts arguments etc okay your, your, your both your goals were different in the past okay maybe you, you wanted something serious like i said and they didn't okay or vice versa but yeah they're coming in to rebuild or they at least they want to i don't see them moving towards you but yeah they're coming in like i said right it, as soon as the Five of Cups and Rivers came on their side, I literally could feel that difference. You're wanting to move forward, move on. They're wanting to get over whatever happened in the past. Like, let's rebuild again. Everything's not lost. All is not lost. I'm still going to pick up the pieces and rebuild the structure for us. That's sweet. That's sweet. Give me one more card for this person's feelings for Leo. Oh, this just wanted to come out. The sun just wanted to come out with the six of pentacles. Yeah. They now have clarity about the situation. They see you as their happiness. They see you as their end all be all. They see you as someone who makes them very, very happy. They now have clarity about the situation. The sun also looks like to me like an epiphany. Okay. Like, okay, now I realize I, this is what I should have done. Now I realize this is what um, I should have given. I didn't give uh, enough to this relationship. That's why I fucked up. That's why the mess. But yeah, six of pentacles, nine of wands, knight of wands, they're rushing in, baby. And for the ace of pentacles, they're coming in with that commitment. They're coming in with that commitment. They want something solid, stable, committed. This is very destined and fated is what I'm getting. Okay, with the ace of pentacles, it's a gift from the universe. They're rushing in to come in and they're coming in to give this to you. The knight of wands, in and out energy, right? But yeah. I mean, let's just give this night a benefit of the doubt, okay? Because it's paired up with nice, positive cards. So, yeah, I'm almost getting that this person can't wait. Expect this person messaging you any moment. I think they'll come in any moment and they're coming in to offer this new beginning to you, okay? But this is not the Ace of Cups. This is the Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, this is definitely something solid, something you can bank on, something you can rely on. That's the kind of 
offer that they want to make to you okay it's a gift from the universe but guys if you really want to make this work out it's going to take a lot of effort a lot of energy it's like a small seed from the universe a gift from the universe it has the potential to grow very very big but it's going to need a lot of hard work a lot of dedication a lot of commitment okay a lot of planning to make it work out to go to the ten of pentacles but yeah i think they're ready for this they're ready for this and they're rushing in how cute they're rushing in. They see you as their sun, their moon, their stars, whatever have you, okay? But yeah, they're coming in. Oh, Let me know in the comments below, okay? If this reading resonates with you, if this reading resonates with you, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.